So I got a package, a card, and a little, a little pretty Luna thingy today. And I've slit them, but I haven't opened them. So let's open them. <laughs> okay, so this is from, looks like England, because it says by airmail, royal mail. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's from Elizabeth. And I was right, in England. I'm glad I got the, the queen correct. Go me. <laughs> Hi, budget girl. I had to write to say how much you inspire me to keep on track with the budget. I couldn't do it without you. Thanks so much, Elizabeth, London, England. And she has the most beautiful handwriting. Look at that. In a really pretty gel pen. And this is a magnolia blossom on the front, which is the state flower of Mississippi, where I'm from. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for writing to me all the way from England. That's so kind. I. I really enjoyed hearing from you. Alrighty, and this is from Alaska? AK? I know it's not Arkansas, because I'm in Arkansas. Um, Laura, yeah, Laura in Valdez, Alaska. And there's stuff in it. Alrighty. Um, ooh, detoxifying face masks. It smells really good, too, by the way. A facial moisturizer I'm getting to the card somewhere here a body butter and a lather thing all sorts of little little samples oh and there's a picture of Laura hi Laura oh here's the card ha alrighty we we'll get to the rest of that later um, and she says, always put your best foot forward. And she says, uh, budget girl, I am loving your channel. My husband and I are going to work on a budget. I wanted to share my passion with you since you co so kindly share yours, Laura Killian. Excellent. And she is apparently a perfectly posh consultant. And she sent me some samples. Thank you so much. I, I love samples of like body body stuff because I wash my body. I'm sure you all wanted to know that. If you didn't, I'm sure you're relieved to know that I do that. So there you go. Alright, and then the package is very heavy and it is from Elysia in War, West Virginia. It's a place called War. Okay. And on the top there is a Ooh, pretty scarf. Oh, it's got birds on it! Look! Look, birds! They're like... I like birds. Well, I like... I like bird prints. Actual birds are kind of a nightmare. My mother had a Jardine parrot um, named Tukey, and it hated me. And it would dive on me, and it would bite my ears. Whew. Yeah. Live birds, like, trapped in a vicinity or some sort of structure with me, no good. Like regular birds out in the world tend to leave me alone. Bird prints, awesome. In case you were wondering where I was on the bird scale. Um, and then, oh, another scarf, sparkly. No birds, but that's okay. Uh, oh, okay, we're having a scarf party, apparently. Oh, this one's pretty, look. And, oh, card. Not a card, oh, letter. Okay, long letter, be right back. Hi, I'm back and I'm wearing my bird scarf. Um, so this huge letter is from Alicia who is 38 and has a lot of debt and she's on the payoff journey and she's trying to get her life on track and she had a ton of questions um, which I will answer probably in a Money Monday video instead of addressing them here because this is a fun box opening type thing. Um, but she uh, was purging a lot of stuff and getting rid of a lot of stuff, especially from some expensive hobbies that she's put on the back burner. Um, so she said that she wanted to send me some of uh, the pretty stuff that she was purging and some of the stuff that she makes on her hobbies. So I'm going to finish opening up the bags now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vanilla Bean Noel body spray. Love body spray. And a little scarf. Yeah, the jewelry and the scarves, she said, ooh, um, she was purging, and 
you know, see if I would like anything. And anything I don't like, I will offer to my friends, and then if they don't like them either, what I'll do is I'll donate them to a wonderful local charity here. And that's what I do with anything you guys send me that just isn't my style or something. So just so you know, it does it does find a good home. Anyway, that pretty. I'm definitely wearing this. It's a little loud, but I like it. Thank you for sending me all of this, Alicia. I don't know what that is, but I like the pretty colors in it, and I think I'm going to like it. This, this I totally won't wear, but I will donate it to local PCDC, which helps um, local people that are mentally or differently abled. Uh, find jobs and takes care of their housing and everything and I'll actually go after this after I look through it all and I will drop it off to them but some of this stuff is really cute ooh I like that cuff you see the copper cuff That's pretty. okay and then she said she makes the stuff in the white box so let's take a look see Very pretty. I like the big, the big turquoise earrings. And then, oh wow, she sent me a lot of stuff. You know, Alicia, you could probably sell some of this stuff if you still have some left on Etsy, because you're very talented. This is all really pretty, and that could be maybe a little uh, help you get out of debt thing. You should totally do that if you're watching this. Because I'll tell you what, not everybody has the talent to do stuff like this. I don't. Or the or the patience, the little the little tiny holes. Uh -uh. No. And I don't have the eye for the colors to put stuff like that together either. Look how pretty. I love presents. wear these. The pink ones, they'll match the dress I'm wearing. Yay! Yay for another mailbox haul. And this bird scarf, which I'm going to wear a lot because I like birds if they're not real. Bye. Alicia, you and I can be best friends forever because you made a bracelet. Bracelet big enough for my big ass wrist. Bracelets never fit my wrist because they're, I don't know, they're, they're big. Which I can't really help. It's not like you have like fat on your wrist, but look how pretty that is. And it fits. Thank you. Pretty. And in the gold cuff, it's a dragon. Look. It's a dragon. Nelson. Nelson the dragon. Hi hey friends. Uh, so I went to the post office, but I either didn't have my phone on me or it was dead or something. But I got a package and a postcard, and I'm going to do the postcard first. Uh, this is from Joni Luciano, um, and she's in Florida, obviously. Look at the sea cow! I've always been kind of obsessed with manatees. They look like sea dogs, and I want one. Um, or I want to be friends with one. I don't want to own one. They're too majestic to own. Anyway, she says, Dear Budget Girl, I had to look up where Mina is because whenever you say it, it makes me think of Queen Wilhelmina. For good reason, actually. Um, State Park. My grandparents used to take my sister and I to that area every summer when we were growing up. Anyhow, my husband and I have no debt but the house, which will be paid off in six or seven years. I love your videos. You're such an inspiration. And this came from Tampa, Florida, according to the postmark. So maybe she's gone and swum with the manatee. That's one of my debt-free wishes, is to go swim with the manatees. Now, I know they're endangered, but there are, like, protected areas where you can go and swim with them and not do any harm. Because um, it's obviously way more important to protect these beautiful animals than to allow tourists to interact with them. But I, <laughs> I've done a lot of research. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Joni, for sending me this. I love sea cow. Um, <laughs> which you had no idea. That's a completely random thing about me that I just really like. Manatees. Uh, but thank you for your card. I love getting cards from you guys. And uh, 
I bet you'll be able to pay off that house faster in six or seven years. When you're motivated, it just starts happening. All right, um, and this one is from Plymouth, New Hampshire. Look at the owls, which are um, my alma mater's um, mascot. Uh, the MEW is a... Um, uh, our our mascot is an owl, Athena the owl, actually. Um, and look, another owl. Um, I've probably mentioned that before. Um, oh, oh, look at the little. Oh. Um, and one says uh, he has his eyes on Rory. All right. Um, this says, dear Sarah, congratulations on making it past halfway on your journey. Yay. Um, you're an inspiration to all who cross your path, and we are so proud of you. Here's a small gift to hopefully brighten your day and make you smile. Snail mail high five from our family to you. Love, Liz S. Cool. High five to you too, Liz. And I remember seeing your comment on YouTube saying you had something my way. Um, and I already read this. And you didn't say anything about not, um, not reading this online. I thought it was a cool letter. Um, it says, Dear Sarah, although I've never commented on your channel, I'm probably one of your biggest fans. Sometimes I go to sleep listening to reruns of your videos. That's kind of cool. Um, I am newish to YouTube and first stumbled upon uh, Chris and Jackie's videos when I was searching for cash envelope systems. I was searching to buy a cute cash envelope system, but my search brought me to a video on YouTube. Never knew these existed. Once Chris and Jackie mentioned your name a couple of times, I started watching your videos. Um, quickly, you became my number one favorite channel. Awesome. Thank you. Um, to this day, I still only watch a few channels, uh, Gazelle Intense, which is Chris and Jackie's, uh, The Not So Ordinary Wife, and the former Mrs. Jones. I'm petting Rory, by the way. She, come here. Oh, you can see her tail. Tail. Come here. Come here, bro. Come here. Come here. Up, up. Say hi to the friends. Say hi, friends. Thank you. You're very sweet. Okay. Um, Gazelle Intense, Not So Ordinary Wife. She licked me right in the nose. Um, former Mrs. Jones, Glitter and Groceries, debt, debt is Done, and Frugal Sheep Flight. But in my mind, your channel blows all the other ones away. Um, this past week, I finally created a Google account to enable me to begin commenting on your videos. I already subscribed and liked each video as I watch it. Thank you! That totally helps! Uh, I live in New Hampshire with my husband and two young children. I believe your parents also live somewhere in the state. They're from New Hampshire. Um, and don't worry, you're not alone. We don't drink sweet tea either. Um, we're also on the Dave Ramsey plan. At some point, I'll email you more specific info. Um, my son Max and daughter Addie and I have been wanting to spend, send you something special to show our appreciation for all you do. We cannot thank you enough for your transparency, wisdom, encouragement, support, and love. Your perseverance and sacrifice in this journey is mind-blowing, and it's refresh refreshing how you lead by example. All your humor and smiles are an added bonus to us viewers. We're truly blessed to be a part of your journey and cannot express our gratitude and thankfulness enough for all you do. Please know how deeply you are appreciated and loved. You're a beautiful person, both inside and out, and we are better people for having know you, known you. I do not deserve any of those compliments, but they make me feel warm inside. Thank you. Um, right before you said it in your video, when you were rubbing hands together with that huge smile, I knew right away that you were about to show us a new purse, and I don't think I've ever been more happy for a person. Um, you waited so long and were so patient for this need. And it was cool watching it come to fruition and being able to experience that with you. I love my purse. I love it. Um, my first thought was to try to find you a deep purple MK wallet if that existed to go with it, but no such luck. So instead, you are stuck with this gift. <laughs> I'm stuck. Um, I won't completely spoil the surprise um, in case you read this first. But let's just say I'm hopeful and pretty sure you will like it because it's purple flowery and vintage. With that combination, I figured I couldn't go wrong. That's that's pretty accurate, actually. In fact, I'm wearing something. Uh, my dress today is purple flowery and, and vintage-esque. Um, hope it will be useful and special to you. May it be a constant reminder uh, to you that all the time and effort you put into sharing your lives with us is incredibly appreciated and causing many others to be successful in their financial journeys. Until next time, Liz... Max and Addie, um, and they, they each signed it with their ages. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Okay, let's see what I got in here. Uh, looks like a bunch of hot fries packages, which will burn my mouth off, but in an enjoyable way. And some stickers, a little mason jars. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but they're cool. Not neat. And then I'll admit, this was wrapped really prettily, um, and I couldn't resist, so I went ahead and opened it, but, um, it's, uh, oh, look at the wallet. It's, 
she's right it's very vintage and pretty and I think um, I'm gonna use this like, it's got a really pretty pattern inside too as uh, probably as a clutch it probably won't fit inside my MK bag but um, I'm gonna use this as a clutch for like fancy things it'll match um, my fancy dress perfectly thank you so much Liz that was so sweet of you to think of me and I loved hearing about um, what you enjoy about my channel <laughs> that's always nice to hear um, and I hope you are all doing very well um, as always you guys can send me your mail I love getting letters from you you absolutely don't have to send me any presents or anything like that though they're really cool um, but oh it opens I didn't realize that <laughs> um, but I love hearing your stories and your journey or if you even just want to drop a postcard to be like hey I watch you on YouTube and here's a postcard from where I am. I actually collect those. I have postcards from like Germany and Ireland and um, all sorts of places. Uh, oh, and from Australia. And I keep those on like a little bulletin board kind of in my living room uh, because I love hearing from you guys and seeing where you're at and seeing pictures of your animals. I love it when you send me pictures of your animals and kids, but you know, mostly animals. Um, and the uh, mailbox is down below. I will see you all very soon. Bye.